Hello. Today, we are making the night from Hollow Knight. Use your core wall to make a marshmallow shape for the head. This shape took me around 7 minutes of stabbing. When it's nice and firm, cover it with our white wool. Mark where the eyes will go by creating dents. Grab our black fiber and start filling the dents. Start from the edges and save the middle for a last. Now the other eye. Make a round stick shape for the horns. Keep twisting it to make it thin. Cut it at the middle. Make another cut on the tip. Start sculpting the tip of the horn. Fold it and then start stabbing it to make it bent. Measure the length and cut the end off. Check the shape again before attaching. Open up the fiber for easier attachment. Same thing with the other horn. Put them side by side to help check the length. Make the body. Check the proportion by comparing it to the head. Cover it with black. Make two legs, pretty straightforward. Attach the body. Make two arms, same shape as the legs. Attach right arm and remove cap from table. Meow. Let's not attach the left arm yet. It will make attaching the sword easier. Grab our grey colour for the cloak. Start stabbing until we get a firm and flat piece.
We can attach the cloak like this, but I want it to look more dramatic. Make another flat piece that's about the same width. Combine two of them. Make some cuts on the cloak. Firm up the edges by stabbing. Fold and stab like this to make the end pointy. Stab like this to make the edges cleaner. Wear finger gloves to prevent stabbing yourself. Clean up the edges with scissors. Now make the sword. Focus on the tip first, then work our way up. Keep twisting it to make the shape round. Adjust the shape as needed. Grab tiny bit of black fibre for sword details. Remember to twist the black fibre for clean line. Use pipe cleaner for the sword handle, although it's probably fine to just use fiber. Stabber holds a stick the handle in. Attach sword to the left hand. Decide which pose you like. Now we can attach the cloak. Make the folds by folding it and use needle pins to pin in place.
make the folds look more realistic by only stabbing certain spots. To get a more dynamic look, stab them this way to make it look like it's being blown by wind. Keep refining the cloak as you like. Our night is done. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe for more needle felting.